are part of a licensed group of amateur archaeologists known as mudlarks. Hey, hey. Ah, they scour Britain's foreshores, searching not for buried treasure, but hidden history. Oh, yes! Tasty! Wicked! That Look is that. tasty! They've agreed to share with me their decades of knowledge and experience. Rock and I are part of a group of specially licensed mudlarks. Our permits from the Port of London Authority allow us to dig the Thames foreshore down to 3 feet 11 inches. Got an anchor on it? Yeah, that's lovely. I think it's a Royal Marines button. But this is a, a pot lid, yeah, and they're highly collectible pot lids, and it says fine tooth powder. Always get vast amounts on the foreshore. This is a sheep's tooth. And do you know what? There are masses down here. I think I've had a jawbone today. Looks to me like the top section of a book clasp. I've got a little effigy of a sailor taking cargo off of a boat. It's brilliant. What oh, is it? Oh, that's really old. Yeah, it's really old. But what is it? Oh, we, we always talk about them, yeah? We have our lead tokens, we have medieval tokens, but we have a certain type of token. What is this token? Trade token. Well done. It's a trade token. You got that straight away, trade yeah? Trade token. So we're talking, no, we're talking 1600s here? Yeah. Yeah, but what makes this really special? Yeah, this is from Pudding Lane. No! Yeah. Where but, the Great Fire actually started. But look really carefully how it's spelled. P U D I N. Yeah, uh, there we go. Is that a bit of galley glass? <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> probably is. So, Rox just had this up. We've had them before on the show. So, imagine the deck of a ship underneath would be really dark. So, what they would do, yeah, as you know, is they'd put these blocks of glass in, heavily busted up and also very worn, but. But that's flat on the surface, you know why it's concave on the bottom? Because that spreads the light. Top sausage. See, you get see? so much from our show. So much. <laughs> right, can you see this here? I've got one, two, three sat next to each other. I can't explain this, but it's three bits of canister shot. I wouldn't personally say these are sort of individual cannonballs because they're just a little bit too small. They're also a little bit too big to go into a musket. Imagine the size of the musket gun you'd need to fire these. So what you might have had would have been basically a canister of these all wrapped together, bound together by rope, and that would have gone down the barrel of the cannon, and as these fired out, these have all just sprayed out and caused sort of maximum devastation. I've never found sort of three together like that. It's amazing. Well, Is I... there great excitement about this, do you think? I tell you, for me, major. OK. I don't know how long it's going to be. Look, look, the whole ground's moving. There's more there. There is more. <laughs> it's bigger. Go on. But it's something superb. I just think it's amazing. Too bad. You all right? Whoa. Whoa. What you had up? Well, star find so far is this. Oh, some kind of needle. Almost called a bodkin. What, Tudor? Tudor, yeah, yeah. It would have to be just the word bodkin. Bodkin. That would have been used to sort of thread lace through clothing and you'd, sort of, you'd be able to pick out the lace as you thread it yeah. through your clothing. But if you can see on this one, it's nicely decorated on the end, but also we have, do you see that? What's that? K-I. 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 Possibly maker's mark. Yeah. Possibly owners, but I'd say it's probably more maker's mark. Look, look at that. Isn't that absolute quality? Absolutely brilliant. I mean, that's, why, that's museum good, Absol isn't it? So am I sitting in the right position? Yes, yeah, you're in the right position. It's right under your big hooter. If I say it's under your nose, where is your nose? There. Right. Follow your nose down. Follow it forward. Stop. What can you see? What, this? Oh! <laughs> I thought that was just a thing. I saw that. This, it's a, it actually is Bellamite. Another nice day again? A beautiful day again. But what amazes me, yeah, think, you've got Canary Wolf down there. Yeah. Ultra modern. Yeah, yeah. Then you look at this, yeah, and it's just like going back oh, in the 17th right century. Door to it as well. And you just imagine yourself, yeah, with all those ships coming all the way down the Thames, right. offloading here. Imagine some of the stuff that came off of it. We had coal, didn't you? Imported coals here. You've got a massive factory down here making lead paint, supposedly to waterproof the bottom of ships. And also ballast. Didn't ballast used to come That's from right. here? That's right, you got the ballast office here. So basically, you had to pay a toll for taking on ballast before you went on your voyage. And that toll was called ballastage. Oh, my God. Piece of chain mail? That's unbelievable. That's what you call a piece of chain mail. That's unbelievable. Pieces like this would be used to clean in your helmet. Yeah. I'll leave that with you. I'll catch you later. All right, mate, cheers. Well, we don't normally do this, but the reason why we're going to do this today is I'm just going to give you an insight into what really goes on down here and how much stuff we can have up. So all I'm going to do is lay these out. I've got Georgian. I've got Guernsey coins. I've got Tudor cups. I've got sugar pots, medieval tiles, pewter tops, leather decoration, 
fly buttons as per normal, military button, normal pipes, Elizabethan backs, king pins, old penny, kids toy, wheelbarrow, Georgian, Georgie third, decorated button, bag seal, lovely token that we'll have to go to the museum to tell me what it is, buckle, very strange, a ground down pipe, don't normally get those, a very worn hammered coin, kids toy, the famous Tudor toys that we have up, this piece of toy, decorated button, can't see what's on it, a love heart. Cuddly toy. Nice decorated button with, I think, JM on it. Another small decoration, probably leather. Pewter button. Let's see, you're getting the picture here how much stuff's coming up. So, another fly button. Oh, there's a leg, a leg of a lead soldier. Good, 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 good. You all right, mate? Yeah, not too bad. How are you been getting on? Yeah, pretty we good. Had out. Pretty good. I've had up. Get this, yeah? Talking about torpedo bottles. Torpedo bottle one. Good man. Torpedo bottle two. Well done. Pretty good. I know they're Very just good. Uh, fragments, but pretty good. What have you got? A bit of... So we've been doing pretty similar, really. Have you brought those from home just to annoy me? No, I haven't. <laughs> that is just amazing. I know. I've only ever seen that in books, and I've never <laughs> seen one in real life. And today I found I got the really majority excited of one. about my, my <laughs> fragments. But actually, uh, what, what's the other one you got? Well, this is—it's a smaller torpedo bottle. So yeah. the ones you've seen—they're the, they're the standard sizes. Yeah. Again, only in books I've, uh, have I ever seen these smaller versions yeah. of these torpedoes. That's so, just beautiful. I mean, that is okay, really beautiful. Okay, what else I've had? I've had. Uh, I think this is from a bear. That could be from a bear. I don't think it is. Why? Well. Didn't bears have sharp teeth because they're meat eaters and these are more sort of flat for grinding? Okay, what I've done there is Bovine. what I've done there is thought that was the bit that went into the gum really. and I've actually got it yeah, upside down. That's alright. You it's see, fun. what a difference. Bear, <laughs> bear from the bear pits fighting here, sheep. Yeah. The difference is what where the gum is. Gum's there. Okay. There we go. It's made of lead and he hasn't got a head. Yeah. But I found it on the foreshore. Yeah. And now I'll be a mud man. For sure. No, See, look, Rock's got the right idea. This next section there is eroded out. Hey, wait a second. Did you say Rock's got the right idea? Yeah. I've been going where you've been telling me to go. I That's know we did there, but you just started scraping amongst the pebbles. Well, maybe I'm rolling with the wrong mud mass. <laughs> Get on your knees. Well, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go next to Rock. Rock, have you done this bit here? Uh, not here, no. OK. No, get to that. Is that because it's potentially rubbish? That's all right. Should we have a competition? <laughs> competition, competition, Yeah, who has? Right, we go for oh. artefact or coin. Artifact or coin? You've got to go work your way up to the back wall. Now, yep. every time you find an artifact or coin, you stand up and walk away. Whoever is left last here, without finding anything yet, buys the beers, yeah? What, okay, sir, what constitutes artifact? Anything. Anything! I would yeah. say a live dog. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. Right, on your marks. Yes. Get set, go. No, get away! What have you got? It's a one P-I-C-E from India, dated 1945. So we're in the sort of the heartland of imports coming from India, all the spices and the fruit and everything, and then I found it. I can't concentrate with what's going Sorry. on. I can't as well. It's just all it's all vitriolic. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. You got one, you got one. And I have an old penny, but I win, and you buy the booze. Foolie's getting the booze. God, yeah, I was sweating there for a second. <laughs> there seems I'm, to be I a pattern emerging. Come on, Vaughny. Yeah, very oh, funny, yeah. Steve. It's obvious I haven't found anything yet, isn't it? I'll tell you what we do, yeah. I'll just go down the pub, yeah, and I'll start a tab in your name. Uh, well, what, what, what are you saying? So, so you, you're going to drink and I pay for it until I actually find something? Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, yeah that's right? what we said. That was the competition. Yeah. You lost. In fact, you haven't even... Look at you. You haven't had anything yet. Yeah, nothing at all, no? Well, I'll catch you down the pub. We'll see you a bit later, Johnny, yeah? Come start. Oh. You're taking the dog? She's thirsty. She's not going to be all on my jack. Am I going to be all right here with the tide coming in? Yeah, I'll see you later, fellas. Thanks very much. <laughs>